In this video, we're going to review geometry. Adjacent angles can be added together. To find angle AOC, we add 30 degrees plus 20 degrees. Because they're adjacent angles at O. Therefore, angle AOC is 50 degrees. Complementary angles add to 90 degrees. Angle BOC plus 50 degrees will therefore equal 90 degrees because they're complementary angles. Therefore, angle BOC is equal to 40 degrees. Angles in a revolution add to 360 degrees. Therefore, angle AOB plus 90 plus the 120 will equal 360 degrees because they're a revolution at O. Therefore, angle AOB is equal to 150 degrees to make the full revolution. Angles in a straight line add to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle COB plus 120 degrees equal 180 degrees. Reasoning code that it's a straight line on angle AOB. Sorry, AOC. Therefore, angle COB is equal to 60 degrees. Vertically opposite angles being about a vertex are equal. Angle AOB is therefore 40 degrees because it's vertically opposite angle DOC. We can also use Greek letters such as alpha, beta, gamma and theta to represent angles in geometry. Here we have two parallel lines AB and CD. They're marked with little arrows to indicate that they're parallel. Since the lines of the transversal crosses parallel lines, the corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, theta equals 100 degrees because they're corresponding angles on the parallel lines AB being parallel to CD. Since these lines are also parallel, the alternate angles are equal. So beta equals 70 degrees because of alternate angles about parallel line AB and CD. And finally, since these lines are parallel, the co-interior angles are supplementary. That is, they add to 180 degrees. So alpha plus 50 equals 180 degrees because they're co-interior angles about parallel lines A, B and C, D. Therefore, alpha is equal to 130 degrees. Sometimes you may need to add construction lines to solve problems involving parallel lines. Here I'm going to draw in a parallel line that's parallel to A, B and D, E. And I'm going to label it F. We're trying to find here the angles, angle B, C, D. First of all, we know that angle B, C, F is 50 degrees because it's alternate on parallel lines A, B and C, F. We also know that angle 
DCF is 40 degrees because it's alternate to parallel lines ED and CF. And finally, angle BCD is equal to 90 degrees because it's adjacent angles at C. So there's three reasoning codes needed there. Algebra can also be used when solving geometry problems. Here we've got two parallel lines and a transversal. Given that these lines are parallel, we can use the co-interior rule. That is 3 theta plus theta plus 20 equals 180 degrees because they're co-interior on line AB parallel to CD. Now we have to solve using algebra. Combining like terms, we get 4 theta plus 20 equals 180 degrees. Therefore, 4 theta equals 160 degrees and theta finally equals 40 degrees. Corresponding alternate and co-interior angles can also be used to prove if lines are parallel. So if, um, for instance, we knew the value of any of these and we didn't know that the lines were parallel, if the corresponding or alternate angles are equal, we can prove the lines are parallel, or if the co-interior are supplementary, we can also prove that the lines are parallel. The sum of interior angles of triangles is 180 degrees. Therefore, angle A plus 50 plus 60 equals 180 degrees. Because of the angle sum in triangle ABC. Therefore, angle A equals 70 degrees to make that equation true. An exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the opposite interior triangles. So here, theta equals 80 degrees plus 60 degrees because of the exterior angle of triangle ABC. Therefore, theta equals 140 degrees. An isosceles triangle has two or more equal sides called legs and equal base angles. Therefore, if this angle here, CAB, is marked theta, angle BCA is also theta. We now know that 20 degrees plus 2 thetas equals 180 degrees. And we need two reason codes here. One, the first thing we used was the base angles of an isosceles triangle. And the angle sum of triangle ABC. Solving this equation, 2 theta will equal 160 degrees. Therefore, theta will equal 80 degrees. Similarly, you may see problems where equilateral triangles, where all three sides are equal and all interior angles are 60 degrees. Here, using the exterior angle rule again, we know that angle CAB is 60 and angle ABC is 60. because it's an equilateral triangle. And now we know using the exterior angle rule, theta equals 60 plus 60 equals 120 degrees. Using exterior angle rule. And finally, the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So theta plus 100 plus a 110 
plus 70 equals 360 degrees because of the angle sum of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Therefore, solving this equation, theta plus 280 degrees equals 360 degrees, leaving theta to equal 80 degrees. And that is a nice summary of all the rules that you'll require in basic geometry.